Okay, there is a lot going on here, so I won't cover everything. But I want to say, I'm pretty happy with GNOME Shell Application Launcher. For one, I love application folders and I hate application categories. My only miss is we can't customize the grid, and perhaps we should wait for 3.38 release, poof! For two, I really worship Shell single shortcut for both apps and Windows Overview. It is simply one of the most genius designs ever created in computing history. I'm going to open Extensions app, and remember, Extensions will be removed from Tweaks. That's Arc Menu from Master, version 41 plus Git. So, unless we have our pinned apps. On right we have our places, and some quick bookmarks. And in the bottom we have the session controls. Arc is featuring a traditional categories mechanism by default, but that isn't the only layout available. As expected, there is also a search. With right click, we can pin apps. And moreover, we can reorder them with drag and drop. Or we can unpin lollipop, if we regretted it. Time to go into extension settings, and I will only cover some of the items inside there. First we have an option to choose our panel. But both dash to panel and dash to dock don't work on 3.36 yet, so I can't try this. Then, we can change the button placement if we want. Another interesting option, is that we can customize the hot corner action. But the default remains the best. We can also set a shortcut for opening arc menu. There are lots of shortcuts options on this extension. There are lots of options everywhere. On icon settings we can change the icon, and we can pick from a list, that surprisingly doesn't include an Ubuntu icon. Although we can set custom icons anyway. That's probably the most interesting feature of Arc Menu. Basically Arc Extension is in a single menu, but a pack of different menu styles. That's Chrome, and at the end I will quickly demo all of the available layouts. Another interesting option, is that we can create custom color skins for every layout, save them with a name, and even export them. Um, and some more shortcuts configuration. I'm not sure why these options are there, since we can do all those directly from the menu. Perhaps they are needed for some of the layouts. We have an export and import, both for settings and theme skins. And finally, we have the extension about, with version and credits info. Anyway, time for the Fat Rat new release!
Fuck, I don't know if I should stay or if I should go. 